many men have been leading unfulfilling and unproductive lives lately. And it's evident. 99% of men are going about life the wrong way, leaving only the top 1% as high value men. Today I'll show you how to be among that 1% of men. So let's get started. The first point I will mention is an undeniable factor to stand out. Even girls who claim to love their skinny, nerdy looking boyfriends would salivate at the sight of a man with an outstanding physique. A good body physique is the first thing that can boost your confidence and help you stand out among the sea of people. Just like women with attractive hourglass figures and well-rounded bodies turn heads, having a well-chiseled and strong body will have you oozing an attractive appeal. Men with wide shoulders, muscular backs, well-built arms and an overall sturdy figure are considered strong, healthy, confident and capable of achieving almost anything. It would interest you to know that research just recently revealed that only 17% of men worldwide have an active and consistent workout routine. That is no doubt considerably low. So if you take the bull by the horns and start working out diligently, you could easily stand out amongst about 90% of men with no sweat. Building muscles in specific areas can also help create a more masculine physique. There are some key areas of the body to focus on to achieve your desired physique. One, the outside medial deltoid muscle. It is located on the outer side of the shoulder. Developing this muscle can contribute to a wider and more defined shoulder appearance. Perform overhead pressing exercises like the barbell, dumbbell, or seated military press. These exercises target the entire deltoid muscle, including the outside medial deltoid. Lateral raises are the most effective exercises for targeting the outside medial deltoid muscle. Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart, hold the dumbbells or resistance bands in each hand, and lift your arms laterally, keeping them slightly bent at the elbows. Focus on lifting with the shoulder muscles, not the arms. Control the movement on the way up and on the way down for maximum muscle activation. In number two, we have the latissimus dorsi muscle. The latissimus dorsi muscle, commonly called the lats, is the largest in the upper body and plays a key role in creating a wide and powerful back. The primary function of the lats is to perform movements like shoulder extension, shoulder adduction, pulling the arms toward the body, and shoulder medial rotation. Well-developed lats create a V-shaped back by adding width to the upper body, providing a more aesthetically pleasing and masculine look. Pull-ups are one of the most effective exercises for targeting the lats. Grasp a pull-up bar with an overhand grip, hands wider than shoulder width apart, and pull yourself up until your chin clears the bar. Lower yourself back down with control. Bent over, barbell or dumbbell rows are an effective exercise for targeting the lats. Bend at the waist, maintain a flat back, and a row or barbell or dumbbell toward your midsection, squeezing your shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. In number three, we have the pectoral muscles. The pectoral muscles, commonly called the pecs, are the large muscles in the chest region. This area is like icing on the cake. If you develop the rest of your body without paying attention to this area, your efforts will look like a total waste. Compound exercises such as barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, push-up, and incline or decline bench presses engage the pectoral muscles and stimulate muscle growth. Dumbbell flies isolate the chest muscles and stretch them more than pressing movement. Lie on a flat bench with a dumbbell in each hand, arms extended out to the sides and palms facing in. Lower the dumbbells in a wide arc while maintaining a slight bend in your elbows. Then bring them back up to the starting position. Incorporating cardiovascular exercises into your routine improves endurance, burns calories and reduces body fat. Running, cycling, swimming or rowing can help elevate your heart rate and boost your cardiovascular fitness. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercises or 75 minutes of rigorous exercise per week, as the American Heart Association recommends. Another important area to focus on is building your back muscles. Almost every lady gets instantly turned on by the glimpse of a well-sculpted back. You don't need to get shredded like Mr. Olympia or Hulk to stand out. The ideal physique to strive for is that of Hollywood big screens like Chris Evans or Ryan Reynolds. These stars are engaged in the smartest workout routine. This physique perfectly balances working out, being physiologically healthy, and having good genes that ladies would love to see in their kids. The next way to stand out is posture, which many men have very little information on and always overlook. You see, we are in a world where first impression is the order of the day. People make an instant judgment based on how you present yourself. How you carry yourself can speak volumes about your confidence, attractiveness, and overall presence. Posture encompasses the alignment and positioning of your body. It not only affects your physical health, but impacts the way others perceive you. A strong and confident posture exudes charisma while slouching or poor posture can convey insecurity and a lack of self-assurance. People are more likely to be drawn to individuals with an open and confident posture, perceiving them as more approachable, trustworthy and capable. Research has also proven
proven a strong link between posture and mood. Studies have shown that adopting an upright and open posture can improve self-confidence, reduce stress, and enhance overall psychological well-being. Maintaining a good posture can boost your mood, increase your energy levels, and positively influence your mindset, positively influence the people around you, and your positive energy will simply make you stand out. Your posture can significantly impact your professional life. In a professional setting, individuals with good posture are often perceived as more competent, authoritative, and reliable. Whether attending a job interview, delivering a presentation, or participating in a meeting, projecting a confident and professional posture can leave a lasting impression on colleagues, clients, and superiors. It can enhance your professional image and contribute to career investment opportunities. Posture is closely linked to physical attractiveness and can play a crucial role in dating. Studies have shown that individuals with good posture are perceived as more physically attractive, confident, and desirable. By cultivating an upright and open posture, you can enhance your physical presence and increase your chances of standing out in the dating scene. A strong and confident posture can make you more approachable, increase your charisma, and leave a memorable impression on potential partners. How can you achieve a good posture? Keep your back straight, your chin up, and shoulders at a natural level. Remember, avoid slouching. That makes you look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Practice exercises that target your core muscles, such as planks, bridges, to strengthen the muscles that support a healthy spine. If your current posture is so terrible, you could opt for posture corrective braces, wearable devices designed to align your shoulders, spine, and neck. They provide gentle support and reminders to maintain proper posture. However, using them as a temporary aid is important, not relying on them excessively, as you want to build your muscular strength and postural awareness. Before I close the chapter on posture, I should also point out the importance of having a good reactive posture. Paying attention to your movements and body language can significantly impact how others perceive you. Avoid hurried or fidgety gestures that may indicate nervousness or lack of control. Instead, move purposefully and with intention, maintaining control and grace in your emotions. Practice moving smoothly and fluidly, whether walking, gesturing, or engaging in physical activities. Take the time to observe yourself in the mirror or record yourself during conversations or presentations. Pay attention to your body language, movements, and gestures. Notice any habits or behaviors that may undermine your desired presence. Reflect on what you like and what can be improved, and adjust accordingly. Practicing in front of a mirror or seeking feedback from trusted individuals can help you refine your mindful movements and enhance your overall presence. From my vast wealth of knowledge and experience, I've identified a final unique way to stand out effortlessly among the crowd, which is called sprezzatura. I believe this is the strangest word you have ever encountered. This word, which sounds like some sort of headache when pronouncing, had its roots back in the early 1950s. Sprezzatura, an Italian term derived from Baldassare Castiglione's influential book, The Book of the Courtier, in the 16th century, has a deeper meaning beyond its literal translation. It encompasses an attitude and approach to life that exudes effortless elegance, nonchalance, and a seemingly innate ability to perform tasks or display style easily. In fashion, sprezzatura has become particularly associated with men's style. It represents a refined and thoughtful approach to dressing that appears natural and unstudied. It's about effortlessly combining garments, textures, and accessories to reflect personal style while defying conventional rules and maintaining a high class level. Sprezzatura embraces the idea that true style is not about rigid adherence to fashion trends or guidelines about expressing individuality and personal flair. To embody Sprezzatura, one must simply carefully curate their outfit, paying close attention to every aspect, from the choice of fabrics to the fit of each garment. Selecting quality garments is a fundamental aspect of Sprezzatura. Investing in well-made pieces ensures longevity and enhances the overall aesthetic. Fabrics with a refined texture such as fine wool, cashmere, or Egyptian cotton can elevate the look and provide a luxurious feel. Opting for classic designs that withstand passing trends is another way to exhibit Sprezzatura. These styles simply give off the old money vibe. Fit is of utmost importance when aiming for Sprezzatura. Clothing should be tailored to flatter the individual's body shape, emphasizing their best features. Attention to proportions and silhouette can significantly affect the overall appearance. A well-fitted suit, for instance, can convey a sense of elegance and confidence. Similarly, a perfectly tailored shirt or dress can accentuate the wearer's figure, creating a polished and effortless look. However, Sprezzatura is not solely about adhering to traditional fashion norms. It embraces unexpected elements that add a touch of uniqueness and individuality. This could involve small intentional deviations from the conventional rules of dressing. For example, loosely knotting a tie rather than 
and meticulously adjusting it, deliberately leaving the collar of a shirt unbuttoned, or artfully rolling up shirt sleeves that can inject a sense of casual elegance. These subtle yet deliberate gestures suggest a relaxed confidence and a willingness to break away from the strict sartorial conventions. Sprezzatura offers a cheat code that has been utilized by several celebrities, like Noah Beck, who has managed to gather millions of followers than his model counterparts. This cheat code is simple, having a unique style. If you study the patterns that celebrities and influencers employ, you will realize that these people try to make a statement with their outfits whenever they are out in public just to make them stand out. Having a unique style is a great way to stand out from the crowd and differentiate yourself from the majority of guys. Your style can reflect your personality, interests and individuality. It's not about just following fashion trends but expressing yourself authentically. Take some time to explore your hobbies, passions and interests. This self-discovery process will help you understand what resonates with you and what you want to convey through your style, whether it's art, music, sports or anything else. Incorporate elements of your interest into your wardrobe. Don't be afraid to experiment with various fashion styles to find out what suits you best. Try out different clothing combinations, patterns, colors, and accessories. Mix and match items from different genres, such as vintage, streetwear, or classic, to create your unique blend. Avoid copying someone else's style, as it won't reflect who you are. Instead, Use others as inspiration and adapt their ideas to suit your taste. Sprezzatura goes beyond having a perfect dress sense. It influences how you confidently carry yourself and talk and interact with others. Join the team of the Sprezzatura movement to be the top 1% of high-valued men. If you're down, just comment Sprezzatura Revolution in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.